And now, Lifestyles Unlimited presents the Real Estate Investor Radio Show. Over the next hour, we unfold your map to financial freedom. You'll learn how to retire through investing in single family and multifamily real estate. You'll learn how to create cash flow and build wealth so you can have the time and money to live the lifestyle you want. Welcome to the show. My name is Al Gordon, and as always, I'm working on your financial freedom. And on today's show, I'm not going to do this by myself. I'm going to do something called channeling. You ever heard of channeling? I'm going to channel my mentor. Yeah, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go, I'm going to make my mind process through the psychological and physiological and spatial awareness stuff. Yeah, okay, I'm babbling. Right, I'm babbling. So what, what, what am I getting at? Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk about my mentor, Del Wamsley. Why would I talk about Del Wamsley, especially when Del Wamsley is not sitting in the room? Isn't that the best time to talk about somebody when they're not sitting in the room next to you? Yeah, it's kind of a good time. All right. All seriousness aside, wait a minute, all silliness aside, what I want to do is I want to talk about something that Del did quite a while back. What am I getting at? Well, back in, I want to say, 1987, Dell was doing what most of you are doing. Dell was putting cash into his 401k. The company that he worked for offered him a 401k. So what did he do? He took a big portion of what he earned and he put it into that 401k. Why did he do that? Because conventional wisdom told him that if he wanted to have anything called a retirement in his future life, that's what he had to do. He had to go to work, he had to make decent money, and he had to take a portion of that money, carve it out, and stick it in that 401k. So what's, what's wrong with that scenario? Black Monday. That's what's wrong with that scenario. October 19th of 1987, Del Wamsley lost the majority of of his net worth. You heard me correctly. He lost the majority of his net worth. Now, Dell never really told me exactly how much money that was, but when he talks about that experience, you can see the pain coming over his face. You can see the stress that that particular event caused him. Because when you think about it, this is, this is a financial goal, a financial plan that you have been working for, for years that just melts down in your face. It, it is stripped away from you. And all of a sudden, you, you go to look at that 401k balance, and what do you see? You see a fraction of what it was worth the day before. That's what the stock market does to you. The stock market does exactly what the stock market wants to do. The stock market behaves the way the stock market chooses to behave. So who controls the stock market? Well, it's not you, and it's not me. It's, it's really not anybody. This, the market does what the market does. You can read any financial book out there that talks about the stock market, and, and what they all agree with is that the, the market, well, it, it does exactly what it's going to do. Because there are so many players in the market, so many people that are long on positions, so many people that are short on positions, so many people that are willing to take a short-term gain, so many people that are looking for a long-term gain, so many people that have so many different ideas of what that stock market's going to do for them. And then all of a sudden, the stock market does what the stock market does. It implodes. It destroys all of the wealth that you thought you had created it inviscerates it. It's kind of like a neutron bomb going off. Now, what is a neutron bomb? A neutron bomb is something that kills everything but leaves the physical stuff in place. That's kind of what Black Monday was for Del Wamsley. And he realized that he had a serious financial problem on his hands. So what did he do? What did he do? Did he just, like, get up, dust off his overcoat, and just start putting money back into the stock market? No, that's not what he did. He was tired of losing money, and he did not want to lose money ever again. So what did he do? 
Well, he started exploring different avenues, different things that he could do to not invest in the stock market, but to create a financial future for himself. And you know what he stumbled across? He stumbled across something called real estate. Yeah, you've heard of real estate, right? You've heard that 70% of all multimillionaires in our country made their money with real estate. Yet you have all of your money in the stock market, kind of like Dell did back in Black Monday. So what could go wrong? I mean, you're looking at what the stock market's doing, right? It appears to have made a recovery. Has it made a recovery? Or is it positioning itself for another implosion that's going to decimate everything that you have achieved in the last couple of years? Back in 1987, Dell lived through something called Black Monday, and he lost a significant amount of the wealth that he thought that he was earning by putting his money into the 401k. The other thing that he realized was that he really didn't have any control over that money. Because when you think about that 401k, what, what is it about that 401k that you're not allowed to do? You can't touch the money. You can put the money in, but you can't take the money out, can you? No, it's a forced savings account. Now, you might call it an investment account, and I know that's what your financial planner calls it. It's an investment account, but really it's a forced savings account. Because when you think about it, the money that goes into that account comes right out of your paycheck before you even get paid. Yeah, it's an allotment that goes right into that 401k. You never get the opportunity to put your hands on that money. So what's important about that? Well, think about it. What happens if you have a financial emergency? What happens if... If you decide you want to invest in a different vehicle, you are charged a penalty for withdrawal, a penalty. The government imposes a penalty upon you. So what's that penalty? 10%. 10% of what you take out goes to the government. It doesn't go to the financial planner. It doesn't go to you. It goes to the United States Treasury. That's kind of screwed up, don't you think? I think it's screwed up. I, I really do. I, I think, you know, I mean, worst case scenario. Now, okay, some of you are going to argue. I get it. I get it. I get it. I'm, I'm going to state your point right now. Some of you are going to argue, well, that's to protect the investment aspect. It's so that you don't put your greasy little fingers on the money, right? But here's the problem. It's your money. It's 100% your money. And you're not allowed to touch it. But what happened over the last two years? You got to watch that money implode. Now, I know some of you are going to make that argument. Well, I was dollar cost averaging when the stock market was going down. I was actually buying fractional shares and I was getting more fractional shares from my money. And now that the stock market has come back. Those fractional shares have done very well for me. Yeah, but what about the fractional shares you bought before the stock market went down? What did they do? Not, not so well, right? You got to look at the blended return. You really do. Now, some of you are looking at your 401k balances and you're thinking, man, I'm healthy. I'm very healthy. But are you healthy? I mean, ask yourself that question. Are you really healthy? And, and what happens if you want to tap into that money? A penalty, right? Unless you're 59 and a half or older. Now I happen to be 59 and a half or older, but I don't have a 401k. I don't have an IRA. IRA. I don't have any of those government sponsored accounts, savings accounts. That's what I'm going to call it. It's a savings account. So I don't have to worry about that. So what about Del Wamsley? What happened to him? Well, he discovered real estate after looking at many different investment opportunities, he decided on real estate. Now, keep in mind, he had lost a good portion of the money that he had put into his 401k when Black Monday hit on October 19th of 1987. He took his money out of there. 
He paid the penalty. He sucked it up. And what did he do with that money? He started buying real estate. He started buying real estate. Now, he didn't get to the multimillionaire status that he's at right now overnight. It didn't happen overnight. So how did he get to the multimillionaire status that he loves to enjoy right now? He did it by doing something called chunking. So what is, what is chunking? Well, chunking is a strategy that Dell came up with that causes you to look at wealth in a very different way. Most of us were taught that wealth comes from doing well in school so that we can attend a good college. And then we need to get good grades in college so that we can compete for a good paying job, right? And with our W-2 income, by the way, that's income you're trading time for money for, with that W-2 income, we are told to save a lot of money, buy our cars, all cash, pay off our home mortgage, and invest in our company 401k plan, right? That was Dell's belief too. Again, until Black Monday of October 19th, 1987 hit, and he lost most of his net worth, which was invested in the stock market through his company 401k. Dell realized that the traditional paradigms of wealth building and retirement were going to fail his generation. He decided then and there to find a new way to build wealth and escape from the grasp of corporate America, which was demanding increasing hours and moving toward an unsustainable 24-7 availability to your employer and to your customers. So what did Dell do? He began investing in single-family rental homes. And then he moved to multifamily to take advantage of the economies of scale and the ability to double your investment in apartment communities with just a 10% increase in net operating income. He refined this investment model, which is still effective today, and it's taught to all Lifestyles Unlimited members. Every one of us who becomes a Lifestyles Unlimited member learns about this concept of chunking. This experience led to a new, more empowering definition of wealth. Now, let me give you a quote from Del Wamsley. When you have enough passive income to cover your bills, you're financially independent. And right there, that quote, it says it all. When you have enough passive income to cover all your bills, you're financially independent. What Dell is telling you very, very clearly is that you have achieved real estate retirement. You have regained control over your life. When your passive income meets or exceeds your expenses of living, you do not have to go back to that job. You do not have to go back to work unless you enjoy going back to that job. Now, there are many Lifestyles Unlimited members that still work in the careers that they had, even though they've achieved real estate retirement. And the reason they do it, they love what they're doing. They, they've got control over their life. And if they decide to walk away from the job, no problem. No problem. They have the real estate that covers their assets. We come back from the break. More on Chunking. Stick around. Got questions? Call Lifestyles Unlimited at 855-497-4335. The Real Estate Investor Radio Show continues next. What is Dell Wamsley, CEO and founder of Lifestyles Unlimited, up to in today's market? I'm out there right now looking and buying everything I can get my hands on for a better deal. A better deal than what I could get it for a week before. And I'll just keep buying. I did that back in 2008. I bought a property that's worth $35,000 a door. I bought it for $26,000 a door. Next month or so, I bought the same age property and I bought it for like $19,000 a door. But by buying at 26 when they were getting killed from 35 down to 26, buying at 26, let the broker know I was a buyer in a downward spiraling market. And so from that point on, I bought three or four more. I can't remember exactly. I, mean, I think it was four more I bought from there. And the brokers were just bringing them to me. Go, look, you seem to be the only guy buying right now. 
Are you ready to take advantage of the wave of opportunity coming to those who know what they're doing? Join us for the free online workshop at lifestylesunlimitedworkshop.com. Creating the lifestyle you've always wanted. You're hearing Lifestyles Unlimited's Real Estate Investor Radio Show. Welcome back to the second half of the Lifestyles Unlimited Real Estate Investor Radio Show. My name is Al Gordon, and as always, I'm working on your financial freedom. And on today's show, I'm, I'm just talking about my mentor, the founder and CEO of Lifestyles Unlimited, Del Wamsley, and a system of investing that he created way back in the 80s. Yeah, I'm taking you all the way back to the 80s because that's when all of this stuff happened. Dell, back in the 80s, had lost a significant portion of his net worth in something called Black Monday. It's when the stock market imploded in 1987, and he was tired of it. He was tired of losing money. So he started looking for a different vehicle to invest in, and after trying all kinds of different things, looking, well, uh, that's not a fair statement. He didn't try a bunch of different things. He analyzed a bunch of different things. And what he found was many of those things that he analyzed gave him even worse results than the stock market did. Yeah, I mean, he looked at things like gold. Well, the problem with gold is that it's market-driven. It's, it's like the stock market. It's market-driven. It's a supply and demand based commodity. And there's one major problem with gold. It's the same problem as 401k had. It didn't pay him an income. It didn't pay him any money. So he rejected gold. And then he, he looked at day trading. But the problem with day trading is that you have to be abreast of the market. You have to be like 24 7 in the market. And I don't think he was interested in doing that. He was already working like 60 plus hours per week. In, in the health club industry. So, I mean, to put another 40-hour-a-week job on top of that, that's kind of a bridge too far, man. you you got to have a life, right? So he rejected that. And then he looked at different types of things, like multi-level marketing. And he saw the flaws associated with multi-level marketing. So what's, what's the problem with multi-level marketing? Well, the only people that make money in multi-level marketing are the people are, that are at the top of the pyramid, yeah, if you don't get in high enough on the pyramid and have enough people making money for you, you don't make any money. Yeah, it's, it's, it's like a Ponzi scheme, although it's technically not a Ponzi scheme. It's technically legal because I guess they modified it in a certain way that the government says, yeah, I guess you can go ahead and do that. But he, he didn't see where he could make any money in that. Then he found real estate. And in his research, he found that 70% of the multimillionaires in America are created by real estate. Now, keep in mind, back in the 1980s, we didn't have the dot-com bubble, right? We didn't have the dot-com trend going on. All that stuff with the Internet, it was all like brand new stuff. We still had dial-up modems. You younger people in the audience, you have no idea what the dial-up modem is. It is the slow way to connect to the Internet. <laughs> yeah, trust me. All you older people out there are going, yeah, man, I remember that. It, you remember that sound when it was connecting? Yeah, dial-up modem. So, so he couldn't even take advantage of what was to come with the, the dot-com thing, which we found was a bubble in itself, right? Okay, so what did he do? He started investing in single-family houses. And what he discovered, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and quote Dell. He discovered this. When you have enough passive income to cover all your bills, you're financially independent. So covering all your bills sounds like a daunting task, doesn't it? I mean, if your monthly expenses are $4,000 a month, creating $4,000 a month in passive income seems impossible, doesn't it? Especially when you do not know anyone who has tried to do it. Let me give you another Dell quote. Leaders go places others have never been, and they send back maps. Dell's chunking concept will help you get past this mental roadblock. It is a time-tested map to financial freedom. During a radio show that he did many years ago, Dell recalled the moment 
when he realized chunking was the way to retire and live the lifestyle he desired. Let me quote Dell again. He said, I bought four houses for 50 cents on the dollar and made $220 each in positive cash flow, $880 a month. And I thought to myself, I'm young. I thought, wow, I just increased my net income by $880 per month. And because of depreciation, there's no income taxes, no Social Security taxes, and no Medicare taxes. So there I was, $880 a month better off. I thought about that for a second. I thought, wow, that covers my house note completely. I came up with this concept I call chunking. I thought, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go buy another house to pay my electric bill. I'm going to buy another house to pay my gas bill. I'm going to buy another house to pay my car payment. And then I'm going to have no bills. And sure enough, my friends, in no time at all, I had amassed enough passive income to pay all of my bills. I was financially free. So you're probably thinking to yourself, how do I start? Well, it's simple. Just buy one rental house. So, okay, buy one rental house. Sounds real easy, right? How do you buy a rental house? Find someone who has successfully done it and follow in their footsteps. It's a lot easier to learn from someone else's success than from your own mistakes. That is why Del Wamsley founded Lifestyles Unlimited. He created a community of successful real estate investors, and he asked each one of us to give back to our community of like-minded real estate investors once we are successful. Generation after generation of successful Lifestyles Unlimited members pass back the map to those who are just getting started or are somewhere along the road to financial freedom. So, You're asking yourself this question, how do I retire? And here's the answer, one chunk at a time. If $4,000 a month sounds like too big of a chunk to handle, what about a more reasonable amount? Let me give you another Dellism. The key to successfully chunking your way to financial freedom is to retire your bills one at a time. Start with just one payment. How about your car payment? If you're paying $250 a month on a car note, your goal is to buy a single family rental home that pays you at least $250 a month. And just like that, you've wiped out your car payment. Then it's on to the next chunk. A great way to do this is to go to lifestylesunlimited.com, click on the free workshop button and get started. Yeah, take the free workshop and we, we will teach you these things. If you want a higher standard of living, buy enough income-producing real estate investments to pay for it. Chunking can create a lifestyle with no limits. You can have the lifestyle you've always wanted, and you don't have to wait until your employer or the government allows you to retire. Single family is a great place to start because we can buy one asset after another after another after another, and we can build our net worth over time while we are slowly replacing our earned income with the passive income that comes from real estate. Now, over the weekend, I received some information on some properties that are available for purchase. Now, I didn't purchase these properties mainly because I'm not in buying mode right now. I'm actually in selling mode. I'm selling some real estate off. Yeah, and some of you are going, wow, this is a terrible time to sell. No, it's not. It's a good time to sell. Real estate prices are maintaining their value. They are maintaining their value. In spite of what you're reading on the internet, real estate is going down. Real estate is poised for a doom and gloom. 2008. I'm not seeing it. I am not seeing it in today's market. People are still active buying properties in today's market. And the properties that I have to sell are viable properties that people want to buy. But what I'm talking about right now is buying properties. Two different properties came in to my email 
over the weekend, and one of these properties has the ability to produce $201 per month in cash flow. The other property has the ability to produce $262 per month in cash flow. Now, some of you are thinking, well, Al, if I've got to cover $4,000 a month, that's going to take me a long time to get it done. Well, it depends. It completely depends on your financial situation. Some of you have enough money sitting in that 401k right now that you could cash that thing out and you could start buying real estate assets and in doing so, repurpose those assets and start making real wealth with those assets. You didn't know that, did you? Now, I mentioned that the majority of you listening to the show are subject to a 10% penalty, did I not? Well, one of the benefits of becoming a Lifestyles Unlimited member is you get access to the vendor program. What's the vendor program? The vendor program is designed to help you make contact with people that you need to put on your team. One of those entities that you might need to put on your team is an attorney that knows how to get around the law and save you that 10% penalty. It's kind of a game changer, isn't it? If you're looking at a $500,000 balance in your 401k account, and you're thinking, oh, after I pay the taxes of 20%, that leaves me with 400000 And then after I pay the 10% penalty, that leaves me with 350000 well, What if we could save you that 50000 and keep you only at $400,000 after you pay the taxes? Isn't that a benefit to you? I think it's a huge benefit. That would essentially buy you two more houses. See, just by becoming a member of Lifestyles Unlimited and taking advantage of what Lifestyles Unlimited has to offer you, you could buy two more houses instead of gifting that money to the government because you have to pay a penalty. Now, there is one caveat to it. You have to be happily married. It doesn't work if you're single. It doesn't work if you're divorced. And the reason I say it, you have to be happily married is because you and your spouse have to agree on this because what it does is it takes advantage of, of existing law that are part of the divorce statutes. But here's the neat thing about the divorce statutes. You don't have to get divorced in order to take advantage of them. And these attorneys understand that. These attorneys know how to, I'll use the word manipulate, really what they're using is, is they're using the law and they're taking advantage of what the law has to offer you. And you could save that money. Think about it. You could be to a place of retirement a lot quicker than you think. You could be retired long before the age of 67. If you want to do what I'm doing, you want to do what Del Wobsley has done, go to lifestylesunlimited.com. Sign up for that free workshop and let's get you going. The information and opinions you hear on the Lifestyles Unlimited Real Estate Investor Radio Show are those of the host, guests, and callers. The Lifestyles Unlimited Real Estate Investor Radio Show is for entertainment purposes only. Please consult a professional regarding your personal investment needs. Nothing presented constitutes an endorsement recommendation, offer, or solicitation to buy or sell any product or security.